Day 33. US Secretary of State Antony Blinken and Foreign Ministers from Britain, Canada, France, Germany, Japan and Italy, speaking in Tokyo for the Group of Seven Leading Industrial Democracies, today announced a unified stance on the Israel-Hamas war. They condemned Hamas, supported Israel's right to self-defense and called for humanitarian pauses to speed aid to Palestinian civilians in Gaza. Their statement called on Iran to refrain from providing support for Hamas and taking further actions that destabilize the Middle East, including support for Lebanese Hezbollah, and called on her to use her influence with those groups to de-escalate regional tensions. It also condemned the rise in extremist settler violence committed against Palestinians here. Bedouin and Druze Israelis have been victims of this war, along with the rest of the country. At least 19 of the victims on October 7th were members of the Bedouin community. For example, Abd al-Rahman Ataf al-Ziadna, 26 from Rahat, was killed by Hamas terrorists on Zikim Beach. Four of his relatives who were with him are still missing, along with other seven other Bedouin Israeli citizens. Fatma al khalalakat 33, from Arara, a mother of nine children, the youngest just six months old, was also killed that day. Awad Musa Darashe, from Iksal, worked as an ambulance driver and paramedic. When the terrorists invaded on 7th of October, he was near Kibbutz Ra'im and insisted on staying to aid the wounded. The foreign minister has called him a hero and wished for his memory to be a blessing. Abdullahran al-Nasasra, 50, a father of six, was killed when he attempted to rescue people from the music festival near Kibbutz Ra'im. And Yosef Za'adna, a 48-year-old minibus driver, raced to the scene after hearing of the massacre packed 31 people into his 14-seater and sped away through the fields, avoiding Hamas gunfire. Other festival goers in their own cars followed him and also reached safety. President Yitzhak Herzog visited Rahat last week and embraced him as an Israeli hero and part of the beautiful face of the State of Israel. The Druze too have suffered losses. Lieutenant Colonel Alim Abdallah, 40, a father of three from Yanokjat, the deputy commander of the 300th Baram Regional Brigade was killed in a gun battle along the Lebanese border on October 9th while responding to an infiltration alert. Abdullah had served in the military for close to 23 years. The highest ranking casualty of Israel's ground offensive on Hamas in Gaza was another member of the Druze community, Lieutenant Colonel Salman Habaka. He was killed last Thursday while commanding his tank unit. Two weeks earlier, Habak had been praised in Israel as a hero for being one of the first soldiers to respond to Hamas attacks in Kibbutz Beri on October 7th. Two more Druze soldiers have since been killed. Two days ago, opposition leader Yair Lapid says Israel needs to fix its controversial 218 basic law nation-state for the Jewish people by legally enshrining equality for non-Jewish citizens. He quoted a letter from the Druze community asking to make Israelis equal in life and death. This is Peter Jones-Pellach reporting for NCJWA Australia.